All right, this is the FET animation on waves, and I'm going to show you how to set it up before you start answering the questions. Go over to the upper left and turn it on oscillate and the upper right and no end. And bottom left, let's go up to, I guess, just one meter, one centimeter rather. Okay, so you can click it this way. You can use the slider. We're impatient. I'm gonna, there you go. And here's how you change the frequency. That's the frequency of the source. And of course, the frequency of the source is the frequency of the wave. Definitely turn off dampening. Notice how the, how the, the amplitude of the wave gets smaller and smaller. If we turn off dampening, it becomes a little less realistic because the fact of the matter is the energy of the wave would decrease as it went down the, uh, down the uh, whatever you call this, bead, beaded rope. So put the dampening to zero. Let's put things on slow motion. Make easier to it'll make it easier to answer the questions. Um, tension, leave it at high. Definitely want the rulers. That's really key. Now the rulers, you'll, you you can click and drag, and you can uh, measure the wavelength. Let's pause this right now. Now wavelength is either crest to crest or trough to trough. So put the zero here, and this is a little over four. You see, it's not quite four. It's a little over four. Um, that's how you measure the wavelength. Now, if there were two troughs in the bottom, you could certainly do that too. Like, let's see if there's a trough and a trough. Yeah, it's about four, a little over four, because the trough is over here. And uh, what else? Uh, timer? Mm, I don't think I use the timer at all. Reference line, don't use this. This is the refresh button. I could just bring everything back the way it was before, but I don't think you want to use the refresh button. Oscillate. Um, no end, we'll do it again, that's worthwhile, no end, amplitude to one, and here's how you change the frequency, and a lot of this lab is about frequency and, and the velocity of the wave, so let's turn the dampening to zero, tension, leave it as high, later on you'll change the tension with the slider, definitely want the ruler, that's huge, the ruler is drag and drop, let's go to slow motion, and uh, this pause button is going to be critical when measuring the uh, wavelength. So here, trough to trough, I could do a trough to trough. This is a little over three. Can you see that? Three centimeters, that is. Right? See that? Trough to trough, or crest to crest. And um, so the lab is, a lot of the lab is about changing the frequency and measuring a wavelength. You'll, early on, you'll get questions about this wave. Is it a transverse wave or a longitudinal wave? You may have to look that up. If it's easy to Google in another tab. Um, the way this, this vibrates up and down, the wave moves uh, left to right. So you can look that up. Um, I think that's it. Um, here's the restart button. We haven't showed that. And that just brings it actually, and here's the play button. I don't think there's much more to it than that. Um, after you answer all the questions, oh, Here's an interesting thing you could do. Let's let's make the tension of the when this is tension, this just means the tension of the of the beaded rope, and an interesting thing happens. Well, it's not as pretty uh, as before. Let's make the tension a little bit maybe greater, and uh, yeah, it's a little bit better now. But you can see the well. I'm, I'm going to let you answer the question. If something changes about the wave with the tension. That's true about the. I don't know if you remember, but the uh, medium determines the speed. So if you change the tension, the medium. The other thing that I'm surprised that it lets you do is to change those little red and green beans. If you made them heavier, the medium would be slower. And it's probably obvious to you. So I'll let you play around with this. And uh, like I said, the key thing here is moving this, you know, hitting the pause button and measuring wavelengths, zero to this is just under two. Um, that is it. Good luck.